refitted. Upper Clyde shipbuilders had laid the keel of a new Cunard luxury liner at their Clybank yard, and by September 1967, the hull of the ship dominated the skyline. The new liner was to be named Queen Elizabeth II, or QE2, and at 70,000 tons would be considerably smaller than the QE1, thereby allowing passage through the Suez and Panama canals. The government had given a loan of 18 million pounds toward the cost of the ship in an effort to ease unemployment on Clydeside and stem the decline of the shipbuilding industry. In addition to creating employment, the new ship created great public interest, particularly on the day of its launch, the 18th of February 1968. As a flotilla of tugs arrived to take up their stations, the Duchess of Hamilton steamed slowly by, followed by the Waverley. However, in their desire to see the QE2, passengers on both ships rushed to one side, causing a great deal of alarm on the Waverley. Finally, the great moment arrived. QE2 slid gracefully down the slipway into the Clyde, sending a large tidal wave up the white cart water opposite the shipyard. This river was dredged to allow large ships such as the QE2 to be launched across the relatively narrow River Clyde without fear of running aground. This footage is truly historic, as this scene is never ever likely to be repeated. With the ship now at rest, the tugs maneuvered her back into the dockyard where she would be transformed from a bare hull into a finished ship by an army of skilled craftsmen. A little over nine months after the launch, the liner is ready for the first sea trial. And as steam is raised, all non-essential personnel leave the ship. Dawn on the 19th of November 1968, and the QE2 is carefully maneuvered out of the dock in preparation to leave the Clyde for the first time. Passing Dumbarton Rock, she heads for the open sea, but technical problems with the engines cut short the trials and she was forced to limp back to the dock at Greenock.
This high-speed sequence records the QE-2's entry into the dock, where a misjudged maneuver caused the 70,000-ton ship to collide with the dockside. Fortunately, there was little damage, and within a short time the ship was safely moored, allowing remedial work to begin. Following repairs to the engines, the QE-2 was officially handed over to Cunard and finally left the Clyde on the 17th of December, 1968. Rejoining the railway 